Good afternoon, uh, Marionette Miller Meese from Iowa. It may seem strange to have someone from Iowa, but I'm part of Homeland Security, Emergency Preparedness, and Border Security. And I just want to remind you, one of the things that we learned at the border today is that when 120 Border Patrol officers are taken from the border to a processing center, that leaves our border porous. And what did we learn? that there are drug traffickers and there are individuals on the terror watch list that are coming across our border illegally from Yemeni, Syria, Iran. They're coming here and they're on the terror watch list. We also, they had a huge apprehension of fentanyl. Well, Interstate 35 goes all the way up, all the way up to Iowa, and we have drug problems all throughout the I-35 corridor, and that continues when we allow illegal drugs to come in here trafficking. I'm also a former director of the Iowa Department of Public Health. We learned today that there's not testing, that 50% of the Border Patrol agents have contracted COVID-19, that there's a mental health strain on them. Imagine during the pandemic having had policies that work and in the blink of an eye having policies that are stopped and your life is further put at risk and you're imperiled trying to do your best to help families and to help unaccompanied children. And then I'm gonna to speak to you as a mother. I cannot even imagine dropping off a one-year-old child to a smuggler, to a trafficker, to a cartel, to hopefully that child make it to some family member or NGO in the United States of America. That that child not knowing where they go. And our Border Patrol and our HHS try to do their best to make sure that they get to where they should be going, to some sponsor. But we can't guarantee that. Imagine if that's your child, it's unconscionable that we would put policies in place that would damage children and that would damage families in addition to damage, damaging those in the United States. Those policies need to come to an end. This is crisis and disorder at the border by executive order. Thank you very much.